guys, Cards Across Tech here today. Today we're at another Team Savage meet here at the Vive Auto Detailing Grand Opening. There's lots of cool stuff here. There's already cars leaving behind me like that C7 Grand Sport. But without further ado, let's get checking some stuff out. We got some cool stuff like the CTSV behind me with a 2650 on it. But also remember, I sell cars at Parkway Chevrolet. If you're looking for something new, you can DM me on Instagram or shoot me an email. I'll have both on the screen here. And on that note, let's get right to the action. Old Porsche rolling out over here. His drop top Z06 sounds good. C8 Porsches, all the good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Got a nice little GT3 right here. Then we got the homie Vic and his R8 and his wife's Porsche here, both in some crazy colors, looking good. We got the wheel and tire plug Yanni here and his GTR that makes some good horsepower here. New body style RS7 and a matte blue R8, looking all. Quite nice. Over here we got a matte red Raptor with some Baja fenders and an STO. They got a blue STO that I've actually never seen about the rollout. Over here we do have the perfect spec Turbo S here as well. He's in a lot of videos. The voodoo blue on the silver wheels, can't go wrong with that. We got the acid green Urus over here, Matt Gray Performante, and then Kermit the Frog with the uh, SF90 Stradale with the Fiorano package. Fiorano package gets that black stripe up front, carbon fiber wheels, 765, R8s, all the good stuff. And then over here, round off the gang, we have an Aventador SV. Keep on going down the line after the Aventador SV. We also have a Huracan 650S, and this is kind of wild, SF90 with the purple uh, up front. Kind of crazy looking. SV is about to roll out. What's up guys, Cars Across Texas here today, and today you join me here in the hood at the ULH Community Center in Greenspoint for the Houston Car Meets. Daddy! 
mega meat, grand meat. I don't remember what they actually call this. They just shut off the lights for some reason. Um, but there's some cool cars here, so let's get checking out. I think they posted a Ford GT somewhere on their story, uh, and they just saw Lambo rolling. So let's go check out some stuff. I don't know if there's gonna be sins, but stick around till the end if there is. Remember, I sell cars. That's the sponsor of today's video. If you're looking to sponsor the, the the channel, reach out to me, man. I'm absolutely glad to work out a deal with you boys. If you have a business and you support the channel, I'm supporting you. Uh, but for now, sponsor is me. I sell cars. Hit me up. Let's get on to the show. I love Moss 302s, man. Especially in Gotta Have a Green. That's nice. You do have a very, very nice R32 Skyline GTR here. Looking quite nice on some ad vans, it looks like. All around, a super clean little setup here. Next to him, we have this primered Silverado here, sidestep Silverado with a big old turbo. Nice. So he's got a 5.3. And enough turbo to suck in the world around them. Get the sticker bombed butterfly doored FRS over here with a gutted interior and every single light known to man. Then we got the Batman GTI over here. Batman Golf. Is this a GTI? Is it a golf? I don't know, but it's two face half and half with Batman logos on it. I take it this boy likes to slide. He's got the no bumper, the little uh, tube bumper. And looks like a pretty aggressive angle kit on here. Actually, this thing is also pretty clean. And another Q50. Over here, we do have a very, very nice NSX here with some BBSs on it. And a GTR who was just purchased. Got the paper tax on all the way from New Jersey. Now, this thing is sick. He's been in the video before. He's got the two bumper out back strictly because of the fitment of the RR Racing Supercharger kit. This is a 991 GT3 here. But the cool part is that right there. He's got an RR Racing Supercharger kit on the GT3, which means that's a Pro Charger head unit on this thing. And I bet this thing is, is a party. Next to him, we got a low rider over here, which the paint on this thing is absolutely insane. He's got gold chrome bumpers and wheels and all sorts of craziness. The glitter paint and the crazy details in it. You love the low rider scene. Check out this interior. Hopefully, I'm not getting demonetized right now. But then, what I'm more intrigued with is this Ford GT right here that I've actually never seen, I don't think. Very rarely is there a supercar at a car meet that I have never actually seen before, but I think this is one. And he's got the most American spec I think you could possibly do. He's actually, it looks like what is a white stripeless car from the factory, which is a super rare spec in itself. I don't know if these red and blue stripes down at our factory or aftermarket vinyl, but I can tell you this, it's a red, white, and blue Ford GT. Does it get any more American than that? I don't think so. But this Gallardo here is also very, very nice here. This color fits it super well. Two-tone with that sort of ruby red and the black roof. Looking real good. Do have a very nice M4 here aired out and some crazy wheels. This spec is top-notch, man. I don't remember the color name for this, but it's a dark red. Oh, it looks to be like a brown interior. That is super sweet. That's a very, very nice color.